perfect for pre makeup, late nights, and morning after. Morning afters? After doing what, you sicko? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this, Gorga? So today, it's a Monday. It's a work day. I wish the weekend was seven days long. That's what everyone thinks. Anyway, guys, today's video, I'm so excited because we're gonna be doing our October Boxy Charm unboxing. And we're going to be unboxing our unboxing. And we have two boxes. I do this with Boxy Charm every single month. You guys already know this. Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription service where you pay $25 and they send you a box, or you can like upgrade to premium and LUTs and things like that. So shout out to Boxy Charm for partnering with me in today's video. I like to kind of be clear face for these videos because I like to try on the products from the box on my face because I'm very brutally honest about what I think about the products inside the box. I always think the box is worth it because honestly, you're only spending 25 bucks and you get like five full size products on like the base box. Like you get a really, really good bang for your bucks. So I really, really do like doing these videos every month. They're really, really fun to me. But sometimes I don't like the products and that's just the tea. Sometimes I love them. Sometimes I don't love them. <laughs> tea. So we're going to be doing our October version of it. It's spoopy time. Anyway, that's what this video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like unboxings in October, if you guys like the gays, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But let's go and get into these boxes. <laughs> Okay, fam. We're gonna go and start off with our base box. This guy, of course, is retails for twenty five dollars. You guys get a good little man of stiff. And we have a card. Boxy Charm Candy Shop. First things first. First product. Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette. And that's what she looks like right here. It's a little breakfast in bed from Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery is a very, very cute brand with such cute branding. I absolutely live for Miss Beauty Bakery. I'm not gonna lie. I freaking live for it. This is the color story right here. When I'm opening it immediately, I'm not super thrilled by the color story. What do you guys think? It doesn't wow me. It's not like shocking. We're gonna swatch them and see what we think. Oh, but they feel, dude, they feel good. They feel really good. Beauty Bakery has some really, really nice products. Seriously. These three right here, look at those. Look at those. Those look really nice. Really, really nice. That guy retails for $38 and you get nine shades and they're very large, big pans. It's a little pricey for what it is, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little pricey to me. Next, we have the Luxie Wonderlust set. Oh my God, and a little bag that comes with it. Shut up. This guy retails for $40. What is it? What is it? It's a five piece rose gold synthetic brush set. Again, I think, and this is another product that I think the price point's a little high. These brushes actually look really, really, really cute. They have this like really pretty, match on my shirt a little bit. It's like this really pretty like lavendery blue with some gold hardware at the top. Rose gold. Okay, I'm down with this. And it comes with a little bag. Next we have the Far Sully Prive Quench or Preve Quench. A serum that helps to replenish moisture with a unique complex of low and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a great hydrating agent. Hydrate and replenish this bussy. And we will with this. Period. Very cute. This guy retails for $24. Really, I think that's a very fine, fair price point. 24 bucks, it's not too bad. But next we have the Frank Body Glow Mask. This moisturizing face mask is natural and ultra hydrating. Perfect for pre-makeup, late nights, and morning after. Morning afters? After doing what, you sicko? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. What? Nothing. This is the Frank Body Glow Mask, caffeinated. This guy retails for $21.95 specifically. Glow on, I dare you. Do you carry a lunchbox? Do you carry a lunchbox? <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that when I do these videos. I don't know why or what is wrong with me. I love saying that. I wanna see if it smells like coffee. I don't know why I'm getting like coffee vibes from this. Oh shit. Oh, it smells actually really nice. Oh my gosh. It doesn't smell like coffee though, by the way. It's like a vanilla -y flavor. Oh, it smells divine. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try this. That, the scent made me want to try it. And last but not least, we have Lava Lashes. Charm Faux Mink. These guys retails for $19.99. What a cute pair of lap bitch. These are cute. Oh, like this is like nicely done. Like, look at this. Come on, Lava Lashes. This is what the pair looks like. You guys see right there? It's like a really pretty, Faux mink, which we stan. We stan faux mink in this house. They look actually gorgeous. Can we try these? Lava Lashes Los Angeles. Maybe they're a brand from Los Angeles. Lightweight and fluffy handcrafted luxury lashes. Okay guys, so that's the whole contents for the base box. Let's go ahead and move on to the premium box and we'll see which box 
is better. Before that, I'm gonna take a little bit of that replenishing serum from Farsali. I just wanna do it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just I just wanna try a little bit on. Ooh, mm, it feels like water. It feels actually so nice. Just to quench my thirst. Oh, you already know that this thirst cannot be quenched. <laughs> he means metaphorically. <laughs> that absorbs so quickly. Is my skin thirsty? Am I dehydrated? I think I'm fucking dehydrated, bruh. Let's move on to the premium box, you guys. So what you guys do with premium, you guys can pay to upgrade for your premium boxes. And this one's a little bit more expensive because you guys are paying for the upgrade. First things first, we have the Illuminati Cosmetics, Illuminati X Issa Eyeshadow Palette. Illuminati Cosmetics has collaborated with Isabel Bedoya on Ultra Versatile Palette. Okay, Miss Isabel Bedoya. I, she's so fucking funny. If you guys have ever hung out with Isabel Bedoya, which I'm sure all of you guys probably have not, <laughs> she is, Hilarious. Hilarious. And she's so beautiful. Like, absolutely be breathtakingly stunning. Okay, anyway, let's stop piping up. Let's calm down. Let's open her on up. You know what? This is cute. This is cuter than I was expecting, honestly. We have some like pastels, we have some neutrals, we have some glitter shades. Huh. Made in China, by the power of the brush, it create a perfect daytime look. This guy retails for $48. There's 15 shades in here. Whenever a palette's made in China for 15 shades for $48, I have to wonder because that's too high for what it is. But I also understand that it's a collaboration. They have to pay as well, of course. I get it. But price point wise, like, Classically, that's a little high for a palette from China for 15 shades. It's a little high, but they look absolutely beautiful. Honestly, this purple dream shade is calling my name. Ooh, ooh. June 1st. Ooh, they're pigmented. They're pigmented, they're sickening. Oh, I love that glittery shade. These are them two right here. I just wanna swatch two of them. They look nice, I'm excited. I'm gonna try, I'm probably gonna wear this palette over the other palette because this color story is speaking to me so much more than the other one was. The other one, it wasn't like really, gr it wasn't grasping me. It's the grasping for me. Next we have the, ooh, the Murad Hydrating Toner Spray, bitch. So toners, you guys, I use toner every single night, by the way, but toners like do different things. How I like to use my toners usually is I'll wash my face and when my face is done being washed and dry, I'll use the toner to like prep for my skincare to come. So for me, I usually like to do things that like will shallow my pores and like things with salicylic acid and BHAs and things like that. But this one is fantastic for if you are more on the dry side and wanna do a little bit of boost of hydration to help get your products to sink in a little bit deeper. That's usually what toners are kind of for. And this is a really good one. I've used this before and it's actually really bomb. So I'm really impressed to see this in here. Really impressed. <laughs> Love that, love that. If you're dry, you will be obsessed. Or like combo, normal, you'll be obsessed too. And that's for $35, I don't know if I already said that, but I'm saying it again. Next we have the Cosas Color and Light Palette. Powder, blush, and highlighter for $34. This guy retails for $34. Will you open? I'm gonna break my fucking nail. I don't even have nails to break. <laughs> that's really, it's really hard to open. Okay, we have a cream blush and cream highlighter. Work, ultra blendable powder, blush, and, huh? Wait, wait, wait. It says that it's a powder blush and highlighter, but this is cream. Who's lying here? Baby, they're creams. Oh, wow, they are pigmented, holy. Oh, wow, they're actually stunning. Bitch, they are, wow, 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 I'm, okay, work. I'm definitely gonna be using that as our blush tonight. Oh my God, today, tonight. Next, we got the go-to skincare exfoliating swipies. What? They got retail for $35. These single use exfoliating, oh, they're exfoliating pads. Soap exfoliating pads. Ooh, I like ye. <laughs> <laughs> Freaks out smelling it, smells it again. Ooh, they smell strong. That was strong. Ooh, I mean, I love a good, like, already wet exfoliating pad. Oh, I love them. $35. Next, we have the little Cosas, another Cosas product. The Cosas Lip Fuel. Cosas Sport. Ultra hydrating hyaluronic lip balm. Delivering advanced lip care. $18. Look how cute this is. Are you freaking kidding me? This lip fuel, I love this packaging. Like, it is sporty. I feel very sporty spice. This feels like, I just wanna shove this on my ass. Is that weird? Probably, it's a little, it's a little gay. I like the sleekness. Can't smell shit, damn. It feels amazing going on. Super smooth. I like that a lot. That stain on my desk for sure. It's like a little harmonica. <laughs> Last but not least, Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Looking Liquid Color. Or dash right here. $21 for this bad boy, by the way. Whoa. It's, it's intense, I can already tell. Oh, she is thoroughly pigmented. Full, full coverage. <gasps> oh 
Come on, Lord Gilly, you better work, bitch. That is so beautiful for fall. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, yes. And that's the content of this bag. So let's just go ahead, get this skin ready. Let's get this skin together and get it right, get it tight. And let's go ahead and uh, use some of these goodies and see what we think. Okay, guys, so I got a little base on. My base is on, I got some bronzer on, some foundation, some concealer. But now we're gonna go in with our Cositas cream. This is a really intense cream, by the way, so we're gonna just use a little on a sponge instead of, whoo, she's pigmented. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this on. Tap, tap, tap in. Oh my gosh, she is pigmented the house, the casita. And I didn't like set my cheeks, I set my under eye and I put bronzer on. I didn't really set my cheeks necessarily. I'm sure some powder got on it, but that's what that looks like. I think it's actually really pretty. I feel like it just gives you really natural blushy. Okay, not natural, come on, that's like full cover. That's that's drag queen, that's a, that's a lot of blush. A little bit goes a very long way, so I would absolutely watch out for that. I'm gonna turn it down one, so you guys can see like the brightness. I'm gonna turn it down, so you guys can see just how bright it really is. It's extremely bright on my skin. You guys see that? How intense it is? Very, very, very intense. Very Tiachismosa pink, very that. I've been enjoying uh, turning down my brightness for you guys to actually like see what it looks like. I just never really thought of it. I never thought of that, but I got some couple comments people were like, oh, like try turning down your brightness a little bit so we can see what you're talking about. I think it actually looks really beautiful on the face, like once it's on, but I went in, like I went in too heavy handed. Definitely went in too heavy handed, but the color blended gorgeously. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's see this highlighter. I don't know about the highlighter, guys. Honestly, it's a little too pinky. It might be a little too dark for my face, too, actually. Let's just take a little bit. We're gonna take a small amount of it on the brush, just a little bit. We're just gonna lightly, like, tap it on very lightly. Oh, it's pretty. So even though I didn't get the powder one that the little thingy said, this is still, like, very glassy, very pretty on the skin. That looks good with the little brush, too, tapping it on to not disrupt what we have underneath going. But that's nice. It's nice and natural, and it doesn't look too dark for my skin either. I definitely see a pink hue, but it's not too dark. That's what I was scared of. Give me a very glassy skin appearance. That's nice. That actually did work nicely. I feel like I wish the blush was a little bit lighter of a color for me personally. This is in the shade Eighth Muse. It's a little bit too dark for me, but I think that we can definitely make it work. If you get it, you can definitely make it work for sure. Like Tim Gunn says, baby, make it work. Make it work. Make it work, Tim Gunn said. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera. We'll come back with our eyes. Yeah. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I pried my eyes out of the way, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and use the Illuminati X Isa palette. See, the thing is, I just did a fall look with the Hocus Pocus collection, which was super, super cute. I'm feeling purple. Like, I really am. I'm feeling this purple haze, purple dream vibes, like these two. I kinda wanna focus on those specifically. What do you guys think of that? Is that okay with you? It's gonna have to be. And we're gonna go in with our little Luxie brush as a tapered blending, but it's like messed up because of the way it was packaged. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna, tr we'll try this one first. And we're gonna pack on purple haze everywhere. That's gonna go everywhere where it's purple haze. It's like a lavender pastel purple. I mean, it's definitely, definitely pigmented. It's definitely going on nicely and it's grasping onto my primer for sure. I'm thinking like just like this really pretty monochromatic purple moment. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the brightness when I'm done putting on the purple just so you guys can see what it looks like more truer to color because it's definitely going on. It's just extremely, extremely light. So it's just like slightly harder to see. <laughs> I'm gonna blend the edges of that as well. Blending super easily too, by the way. I like this little brush, this little Luxie one, this tiny one, this like little baby buffer here. I really like that one. Ooh, I feel so like, let me show you guys, it looks like, hold up, hold up. Okay, hopefully you guys can see a little bit more now what the color looks like. As you can see, it's like a little bit more of a pastel lavender. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better now. That's what it looks like. Oh, I feel so 90s right now with this cheek and this eye. What? Went on really nice. It went on really freaking nice. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Purple Dream. Mmm, this is what I was really wanting to get. I'm gonna use my finger for it. We're just gonna tap that onto the lid. Obviously my lid's already set, so. What we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a little packing brush and wet the brush instead. Okay, okay, get a good dollop of Purple Dream. Purple Dream, why does Purple Dream sound like a like a, a strand of marijuana? It does. Tell me it doesn't. Okay, spray that. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, 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 just a little bit on the center. I think that'd be cute, like a little center pop. Demure, it's demure. I want it everywhere. That's the thing, is I want it everywhere, actually. That's the fucking thing, bro. I'm really gonna press it on him, I don't care. 
I want it everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this little fucking fairy ass eye. We're gonna do a little fairy eye and a vampire lip. How about that? We're gonna make this hocus pocusy. We're gonna make this Halloweeny. Oh, I like it. By the way, the pastel shade, it's looking, it's it's working well. Like it literally is working fantastically. Look at this Ben ass brush. What the fuck? Take a little bit of purple haze on the lower lash line, maybe. Just a little bit. Bitch, nothing is showing up down there because it's already set down there. Ooh, I might need to prime my lower lashes too because that is doing nothing. It's doing nothing. Make sure you're using something very sticky to like grasp onto these shades because they're so light that it's real. They're actually, it's hard to show up. Like they're so, so, so light. I'm gonna go finish the eyes, put our little lashes on and I'll be right back to do the lippy. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> And here we are, darlings. We got our lash. Look at the lash. It's so cute. It's very wispy. It's very subtle. It's like a very, very soft lash. And I think the mass majority of people actually really like this lash because it's really, really demure and dainty. I added a mole because my pimple was acting up. It was acting up and I said, not today, Satan. Um, I also added a little bit of a like retro liner moment with some lavender. I just thought it went well with the look. I like it. I like it. Anyway, let's go on to the lippy. And we will be done. The way this comes out, it's like literally, it's too much, pro it's way too much product. It's it literally the stopper. It ain't stopping. The swiper ain't swiping. Swiper no swiping. But we're gonna try this color out and see. But that the component needs a little work. The component, like the wiper needs some help. That color is absolutely beautiful. And the coverage, bitch. Done. <laughs> Call me winner for Santa Shine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lip line, so I wanna see what the color truly is. It's like a really deep berry shade. Ooh, I'm not used to not lip lining. Look at that. <laughs> this is why I do need to lip line though, because I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, can't stay inside the lines. It's drying matte now. This color is actually so fucking beautiful. Oh. Okay, let me get a little bit of concealer to help myself out there in that department. Oh, it's dry as fast. Oh my gosh, it's already so dry. Oh God. Oh shit, that is dry. Thank goodness I put that little balm earlier, the cosas one, because this shit is, girl. Oh God. Next time I will be lip lining for sure. I will absolutely be lip lining next time. It is so dry. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm gonna use a lip liner at the edges to kind of conceal. My lips feel drier than the Sahara Desert itself. I think they look gorgeous. Like I think they look beautiful and like the way the matte looks, looks really, really cool. It's like a powdery looking matte, but my lips hurt. They are, they yearn for moisture. Okay guys, and that is it. That is the entire boxes, boxing, unboxing, a boxing charm. <laughs> Ooh, drink every time I say box, you will be gone. But let's go and add up the totals of everything and see which box was worth the coin. Okay, we're gonna start off with our base box. We have Beauty Bakery. This guy retails for $38. That little breakfast in bed eyeshadow palette. Didn't love the color story to be honest. Did not, I wasn't super impressed. 38, the Luxie brushes, they're cute. They actually, they did work. They work nicely. They were nicely packed. I did enjoy them. $40 for those. The Farsali Pride Quench, I have to use that one. It's like an actual like moisturizing serum. I'm gonna use that more, but it looks promising. It's only 24 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good. Not only, but like the price point seemed fair for what it actually was. Plus the Glow Mask by Frank Body, which smelled absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to try that one out. That guy is $21.95. And then the Lava Lashes retails for $19.99, 20 bucks essentially. So that equals up to $144 in value what you guys are getting for the base box. Obviously like humongous saving you guys get if you guys were getting the box. So now let's go in with our premium box and see what our premium box is with. First things first, the Illuminati X Isa eyeshadow palette. I used the shades. They were cute, a little chalky when it came to the pastels, like they were pigmented and they definitely got the job done, but they were a little chalky. And I do think that the price is a little high for what the palette is, but I think that if you guys were getting the palette in the box, I think you guys would actually be happy and definitely get a good usage out of them because they are really, really cute. And I think that Isabel did a great job at choosing the colors. I think she did a really, really great job. So that guy's 48 bucks. Hydrating Murad toner, amazing. I've, I've used it before and I think it's absolutely bomb, especially for dry folk. $35. Gosas Color Light, the powder blush and highlighter. It was not powder, it was pinky cream. So that was $34. That honestly worked really, really well. <laughs> I thought it was really nice. Like the cream, it did work nicely. The highlight was nice. The cream blush was nice. It's a little too dark for me personally, but the product itself worked well. I just wish I had a different color. So I guess you could say that's still a good product for sure. The exfoliating swipes, can't wait to try those out. Those are $35, the exfoliating wipes, plus the Cosas Lip Fuel. 
literally like my favorite product of everything here. Like I fucking love that little lip fuel. Look at the harmonica looking ass bitch. That is 18. And then plus Laura Geller lip lipstick, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. So that is uh, too dry. It's too dry for me. Like I'm just not gonna wear this color ever again. The color itself is absolutely beautiful. It's just this most gorgeous deep berry plummy shade, which just looks so nice and it's full coverage and it really, really goes on well. However, for me, I'm just not into super, super matte lipsticks anymore. Even my own personal brands, liquid lipsticks, they are like a comfort hydrating matte, which like have a little bit of slip to them. This is like none. Like there's no slip to this. It's like, it's hard. So that guy retails for $191 for the premium. And that is the premium box. But honestly, guys, okay, so what do we think of the boxes? Do we like the base or premium? Or I honestly have to go with the premium this time for this month. I think the premium really, that one, they did me good. I like the products more in the premium box this time. And usually like I, it's not premium that wins. Usually it's like it's base box that wins. But the premium this month was like, I just liked it so much more. So shout out to premium box and shout out to BoxyCharm for partnering me in today's video. I'm gonna leave a little link down below. You guys, if you guys wanna sign up for BoxyCharm and see what you guys think. See if you guys like BoxyCharm or at least just click the link and see what you guys think of BoxyCharm. If you guys are interested in it, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys click the link, if you guys were wanted to sign up. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys had fun watching. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. The fact that when you wash like something like this denim and it like flares out your thing. I hate that. Can you just fucking fold? Can you just crease? Save the date. What? Oh, huh? Hey, hey. I can't speak today. Where is? The Muffin Man. It's the most wonderful time of the Fuck, that's Christmas. We're not even there yet. We're not even there yet. I need to stop. Stop. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Hello. So here I am, pouring my heart. <laughs> if I fuck up my lip one more time, I'm screaming fully.